Hi students, in the previous video, we learned how to remember a multiplication table. In today's video, we are going to understand how two digit number can be multiplied with another two digit number by using Vedic mathematics. Here I am going to give you two different methods which can be used in two different situations. Please concentrate in the class till the end because this will have a connection for the next class. Children, if you have not subscribed the channel, please subscribe it and share the knowledge to others. Let us get into first method. Children, by using first method, we are going to find the square of any two digit number which ends with 5. Example, 15 square, 25 square, 35 square, 45 square and 295 square. Let us take first example, 25 into 35. So children, here we will take right side digits which are in units place. Directly you multiply them, 5 into 5 is 25. Don't go for carry forward, directly copy it. Then in the left side digits, that is in tens digit, 3 is found. You increase 1 there. So 3 plus 1, it will become 4. So children, now this 4 into 3, 4, 3 is 12. You can write 12 directly. So answer is 1225. Let's go for another example. Here also children, first you go for right side digits, 5, 5 is 25. And here, for the 6, you increase 1. You will get 7. 7, 6, 42. So, answer is 4225. Let's go for one more example. 5 into 5. What is 5 into 5? 25. Here, there is 8. You increase 1, you will get 9. 9 into 8 is 22. So, answer is 7225. Let's go for the last example here. 5 into 5 is 25. So here there is 4, you need to increase it with 1. So 4 plus 1 is 5. 5 fourths, 20. So answer is 2025. So in this way, you can utilize first method. Children, now the big doubt is, can we use this method for the numbers which do not end with 5? Yes, we can use this method, but there are some conditions to be followed. Children, let us observe these examples. There are two conditions needed to follow this method. What are those conditions? We'll check. Right side when we add 4 and 6, how much you're getting? 10. So the sum of the digits on the right side must be 10. That is the first condition. Second condition is left side digits must be same. So can you use this method here? Yes, you can use. For this problem also 9 plus 1 is 10, 3 and 3 are same. You can use. For this problem, 2 and 8 are 10, 7 is the same, you can use. 7 plus 3 is 10 and 8 and 8 are same, you can use the method. Last one, 3 plus 2 is not 10, that means here you cannot use this method. I hope you have understood where to use this method. So children, let us multiply these. First, 6 fourths, 24 directly I can write it here. 24. Then on the left side, 2 is there. You increase 1 with. So 2 plus 1 is 3. 3, 2, 6 it is. So I am writing it 6. Answer is 624. Now in the second problem, 1 into 9 is 9. I am copying it here. But remember children, you should not copy a single digit. If it is 9, you should write it as 0, 9. Then, in the left side, 3 is there. Increase 1, it will become 4. 4, 3 is 12. So, answer is 1209. Now, let's go for next one. 8, 2. What is 8, 2? 16. So, 16 you can directly write. And then, 7. You increase 1 here, you will get 8. 8, 7 is 56. So, answer is 5616. Let's go for next one. 7, 3 is. What is 7, 3 is? 21. You can write it directly. And then increase 1 here. 8 is there. We can increase 1 here. You will get 9. 9, 8, 72. So answer is 7,221. Now what about this? Here you cannot use this method. So for these kind of problems, 
what we are going to do we have the second method second method is a universal method which can be applied to any two digit multiplied with any other two digit there are no conditions to be followed for second method so children second method is so much important you please concentrate on it let us see this example 21 into 32 so children before going to this i will give you a diagram to remember i s i the first step is i second step is x third step is i that means first step you have to multiply right side digits second step you should go for cross multiplication third step you should go for left side digits children hope you have understood first we will go with right side digits what do you get when you multiply them 2 1 2 directly write it if there is any carry forward you have to and then second step you have to go for cross multiplication 2 2 is a 4 and 3 1 is 3 so how much is total 4 plus 3 7 so is there any carry forward nothing so 7 i can copy it here second step is completed children now we will go for the third step what is the third step you have to go for left side digits that is 3 2 3 to the 6 is there any carry forward nothing so 6 i can copy so this is how we will use the second method this is a universal method this can be followed for any two digit numbers let's go for some more examples so children here first we should go for right side that is 5 to the 10 so children 0 here and 1 carry forward you should not directly copy here 0 and carry forward and then second step cross multiplication 5 3 is 15 and 4 2 is 8 so what is 15 plus 8 23 is there any carry forward yes one is there 23 plus 1 is 24 so 4 here and 2 carry forward then what is the third step children third step is left side digits that is 4 3 is 12 so 4 3 is 12 is there any carry forward yes 2 is there 12 plus 2 is 14 it is 1440 let's have the next example 5 into 2 first right side one 5 to the 10 so you can put 0 here and 1 carry forward then second step cross multiplication 5 5 the 25 3 to the 6 children as i am drawing cross and 25 6 i am writing don't do all these things directly you write the answer you practice in such a way that later on you need not catch pen and paper you can do it directly in the mind so now you got 25 6 25 and 6 is 31 is there any carry forward yes 1 so 32 it is 2 here and 3 carry forward then the third step is left side digits that is 3 fives 15 is there any carry forward 3 so 15 plus 3 is 18 so it is 1820 let us have two more examples here I am not going to write anything. Right side, what are they? 3 and 2. Let us multiply. 3 to the 6. No carry forward. Second step, that is cross multiplication. 3 to the 12, 2, 3, 6. 12 plus 6 is 18. Is there any carry forward? Nothing. So, 18 mean 8 here and 1 carry forward. Then go for the left side. Left side, there are two digits. That is 3 and 4. 3 4 the 12 is there any carry forward one is there so 12 plus 1 is 13 so it is 1386 let us go for one another example first two fours two fours is 8 then cross multiplication 2 7 is 14 and 5 fours 20 20 plus 14 is 34 is there any carry forward nothing so 34 mean 4 here and 3 there then for left side 5 7 is 35 35 plus 8 is there any carry forward yes 35 plus 3 so it is 38 so we have got the answer as 3848 children this is how you can use this method to get the product of two digit number and another two digit number but 
can we follow this method for the previous numbers like 35 square or 47 into 43 yes because i told this is a universal method you can use it here of course you how you were doing this 3 7 21 5 4 20 you are doing this method but you can follow the second method also let's 3 7 21 one here and two there cross multiplication 4 3 is 12 4 7 is 28 28 plus 12 is 40 40 plus 2 carry forward 42 so 2 here and carry forward 4 then left side digits for just 16 16 plus 4 20 so children you got the same answer but it's time taking so wherever there is a chance you can utilize first method if not you can go for second method so here also for this 35 into 35 you did like 25 5 5 5 increase 1 4 5 12 but can we do with this universal method yes 5 into 5 that is 20 5, 5 here 2 there then cross multiplication 5 3 15 5 3 15 15 plus 15 30 plus 2 carry forward so it is 32 then left side digits 3 3 9 9 plus 3 is 12 same answer you got so children what i'm telling you first method is most important but wherever the chance is there you have to use that second method for any numbers you can use hope you have understood these two methods these methods not only save our time in examination but it makes a mind sharp so practice these methods children in tomorrow's class we are going to learn three digit number multiplied with two digit number Children, if you have not subscribed the channel, subscribe it now and spread the knowledge. Knowledge will increase when you spread it to others.